I glued down the tunnel entrances. You can build them yourself if you're skilled enough, but I got mine from eBay. Form a protective shell around the track using whatever you can. I used foam and paper. Then protect the track using masking tape. Otherwise, uh, if you get glue on it, you might go on a killing spree. Lay down a fuck ton of glue and proceed to stick balls of newspaper to it. Now you don't actually need to add as much glue as I did here. Once the plaster cloth is added, it will hold its shape. I put a hole here and here for maintenance to clean the track once the plaster cloth is on and everything is sealed shut. Once you're happy with how it looks, it's time to plaster cloth. To do that, take the plaster cloth, put it in water for a few seconds and swish it around and then put it down and start shaping it. Making sure your chubby hands don't block the camera. I forgot to record the actual part where I uh, do it to the hills, but needless to say, it's the same process. This is about 24 hours later, ta-da. And then you need to paint the surface. I decided to go with brown because brown is the colour of dirt or mud and some, well, some other shit. At this point, it's probably good to check for clearance. Now you can buy rock moulds and fill them with plaster. They do look very realistic. However, I wanted to try making my own. There wasn't much information online about it, so I had to experiment. What I decided to do was add plaster of Paris to the plaster cloth. Plaster of Paris can dry pretty quickly. So after about 20 minutes, I scratched it a lot. After maybe 40 minutes, I chipped it a lot. And then after two or so hours, I polished it with a toothbrush. And now you need to wash it. I use Citadel Known Oil. You can also use black acrylic paint and water. If you use too much and it turns to black, you can apply dry brushing techniques. Next, it's the glue stage. Put down some tacky glue. It's basically PVA. Use a brush, brush it around, making sure to get a little bit on the rocks for realism and blending purposes. Then just start to apply the bottom layer. I'm using a soil mixture. Now it's time to use this scientific sex device called a pipette. Get a mixture of washing up liquid, glue and water into a bowl or whatever and start squeezing it on your layout. Ah, oh, bollocks. What you actually need to do is spray washing up liquid and water on first to break the surface tension, get it nice and wet, and then you can put the questionable liquid all over your layout. Now you may need to spray it again, that's fine. Just make sure you keep it nice and wet and apply it evenly everywhere. Once that's been applied, let it dry for, for about 24 to 48 hours. Once it's wet, it should look like a very bad day to go hiking. Now, once it's dry, you don't actually have to put glue on like I did here. Just make sure the top layer's on nice and evenly. Spray it, apply the same mixture as before and let it dry for 24 to 48 hours again until that surface is nice and hard. When it's done, it will look something like this, depending on the type of ground cover you've used. Now at this point, you can add paths and extra scenery. You should also find a name for your layout, by the way. I've gone for this. I think it's minimalistic. Moving on, ballast. Ballast works the same way as the rest of the scenery works. You lay it down, you add the glue, spray, etc. Let it dry. The same can be said for ground scenery. Make sure your glue's down, start to uh, put the ground cover over it. Spray, 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 glue, 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 let it dry. This process involves a fuck ton of waiting, but eventually the results pay off. This is now ready for bushes and buffers and other cool shit. I thought to myself, you know what would be cool, Jack? Making a mine. So I made a mine entrance, added a hole here, put the track down, pretty, pretty simple this part. Cut a toilet roll tube at an angle so it makes it look like it's going downhill if you want. Add some plaster for the roof, add some plaster on the track and the baseboard. Once it's getting dry, carve out the lines. Add some newspaper if you need to and plaster cloth and then plaster to make rocks. I wanted to make an old style concrete road and had absolutely no idea how because there was no information online. So I decided to think on my feet. 
got some of the plaster, added some track ballast and black acrylic paint, and there it is. And the result is it looked absolutely shit. So I spent a million years sanding it all down. I tried to make a little car park there as well for hikers. After sanding it down and adding some uh, ground cover, it looked like this. Decided I'm going to try and put a hedge here at some point as well for realism. It should look a lot nicer. So this is the end result of faffing around with a sander and inhaling so much dust I nearly became concrete. I then discovered that as the plaster is drying, rubbing it with a wet sponge makes it smooth. Wish I had done that before because this is what it looked like before I used an electric sander and nearly killed myself. And this is after a lot of sanding. Looks a hell of a lot better. So that's the layout so far. I haven't done anything on it for over a year now, but I hope to revisit it again at some point soon in my life, as well as learning how to weather models to make them look realistic. It's actually quite a fun hobby. Of course, I will have to find a way to claw back my virginity and rename myself Keith. Still, as it goes, not a bad first attempt at model making.